So today we're doing a Infinity Battle Report and we're setting it on um, a forest world like Paradiso or something. Um, all our forest pieces haven't worked but um, haven't been finished yet but these are being covered in trees and undergrowth and we've got some more generic trees by doing slightly more alien trees but they haven't arrived they've been ordered um and as yet these are going to be mounted with some trees and bushes around them and that's gonna have some more so when it's all done it'll look really cool but that's what we're doing today um we're doing the armory mission uh my opponent wanted a little bit of a rematch so we've modified it slightly in that um, I'm not using my Toha today, I'm going to be using my Acontecimento. Because, um, well, look, it looks like Acontecimento, so hey-ho. Um, so we're going to set up, and we're going to try a little slightly different format for recording today. Um, to hopefully minimise the amount of extra stuff on the video. So the video is a little bit smaller. Um, after having a few comments about length, uh, we don't know if it'll work, but we're going to try our best. So, uh, let us know what you think. Um, what else are we going to do? Uh, we'll do the normal talk show or armies, and we'll try to have a chat at the end as well to say what we think we did right and wrong. So, stay tuned and enjoy the game. Okay, this is my uh, Contessimento force that I'm trying out for the first time. Out of the cabinet. Um, due to the lighting, it's a bit hard to tell, but they're sort of painted in probably easiest on the big dude. They've got some camo, nice DPM style camo pattern on them. Um, part of my jungle fighting force. There you go. So, what I've got in my force is I've got three regular paramedics this dude is standing in as an, a bagmary paramedic i have a bagmary with a boarding shotgun a bagmary sniper a bagmary heavy machine gun and stephen rao because it's the only way of getting a five-man bagmary link team then have a guard of the assaulto didn't have the special weapon cost for him to have a Spitfire, so he's got a multi rifle and his orc spot with zero V smoke. And then we have a, a Drago. Um, getting this bit here was a pain, so in the end, I decided that having snapped it like three times, I used a spare Toha bit which fits across perfectly and looks like the ammo belt. So that was a bit more robust and a bit easier to do. So there you go, that's my Acontecimento Force for today. So my opponent's um, Hacker Slam, and he'll talk you through it shortly. Hi, this is the uh, Hacker Slam Force. Uh, the first combat group consists of uh, two Kroon Vikers, a Gulan Ford Observer, and the three older leaks here are standing in as Dail Army for this battle because I haven't uh, bought them yet. Sorry about that. Dail Army or Gal... Uh, Dail Army. Uh, the second uh, group, we've got a Barred Hacker. An unnameable. A Janissary with a heavy machine gun. A Gulam Sniper. A Janissary with AP Rifle. Another unnameable. And, um, well, another unable, but everyone knows what it's going to be because there's two armies with impersonating the entire game. So, <laughs> um, then you've got a Rajik with a boarding shotgun and two Nafton with heavy flamethrowers. And uh, we'll see how the first turn plays out. Okay, so we're down to the Lieutenant roll-off. <sighs> Denied. So do you want to choose initiative or do you want to choose deployment? Um, I'll choose um, initiative for a change. Okay, so I get to choose deployment. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think I'm going to choose the side you're at. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to deploy and then we'll Okay, so here we are to talk about our deployment. We've got our five-man link team there. Um, we're saying the trees, all the bases of trees, count as like a nimbus on, so um, <laughs> minus three to shoot, you know, zone of low, of poor visibility or whatever it is, so minus three and minus one burst to shoot through the tree stands. Mm -hmm. um, I have my Bagmarie link team here, all hiding and hopefully covering over here. I have my specialists hiding behind here with the guards of the assaulter to help them out. My Dragos here, hopefully covering these poor buggers when they run out in the open. And I'll hand it over to my friend for him to talk about his deployment now. Okay, uh, sorry guys about the camera moving. Um, this is the Hackers Lounge deployment. We've got uh, a Coon Biker flanking Nafton. We've got the stand-in Dilami Odalisks ready to run up uh, with the uh, nobody knows what it is impersonation marker right there. <laughs> it could be Fide. Uh, we've well, got... It's either a Fide or Al Jabali or whatever his name is. Yeah. <laughs> Who's <laughs> a Fide? <laughs> so, Janissary here uh, with the Gulam Ford Observer. Uh, another Nafton. We've got behind you, behind the trees, sorry, a Barrett Hacker with a Janissary. And a Gulam sniper providing uh, nice lines of fire down here, but uh, seeing the Dragos, it may be um, a bit of a moot point. The idea basically being that everyone is going to run to try and get into the into the bunker, and uh, we'll get back to you shortly. Okay, so it's um, Hacker Slam turn one. So what are you doing first, mate? Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is spend uh, the first impetuous order, and I'm going to move eight with uh, Kumbaika. We're going to move eight. Okay, I'm going to okay. arrow here with the Dragos. Yep. Okay. He's got a nice clear line of sight to you. <laughs> yep. So, what's your second action? Uh, the second action is to pop smoke down right here. Okay. And to skew this type, this area. Okay, so the arrow shot is at plus three, and it's flat ballistic skill for putting the smoke down in front of him. So, I'm the blue dice for Pano, so let's roll. I got an eleven. You got a three. Mm -hmm. You're taking my anti. You're taking my hypermagnetic cannon <laughs> shot to the face. So you need to make your arm. Okay, assist. so you have to make two arms because it's da. Uh huh. And you have to beat fifteen. What's your armor? One. Armor one. So, I need so to you roll have to 15. beat. You have to beat fourteen. Roll fifteen to above. Oh, dead. Oh, very dead. Okay, so that's a super dead come biker. Yeah. And no smoke down. Nope. Okay, let's go on to... Okay. Let's carry on with the... Okay, time. your second impetuous order. Uh, second impetuous order. Uh, I'm going to uh, move again, because I, I have to, obviously. Um, it's the eight inches. She's going to move to here. Okay. There we go. So you'll see me... I'll see you when you move out with my link team. Yeah. They don't care about the trees, because they've got visors. Yeah. So... It's just, they'll be shooting at you. Um, so they're all shooting. And so. the second part of the order is he's putting smoke there. Okay, so we'll measure the ranges and see what we need to Okay, roll. resolving, there's no face-to-face -face rolls because your the smoke going down here and my guys are shooting and opposed. Yep. So do your smoke first, you may as well. Okay. Um, it's 16 inches to your spot, so that's plus three. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. So that's gone Smoke down. down. So we'll get a template for that now. Okay. Um, and I got minus three on Stephen Rao. He's going to hurt. Who's minus three plus three. So that's two hits. Yeah. The sniper, because he's plus three for the five man link team. The sniper rifle is plus six. Ooh. So that's a hit. Yeah. Um... And the heavy machine gun is plus six. So that's two hits. So there we are. You have to make armor saves. So. Do the two against the combi rifle first. Yeah. <laughs> so. Dead. Dead. There we are. Yeah. Very, very dead. Very dead. So dead. Well, so, I'd like to roll for so the dead. others, just to see exactly how much of a paste he gets put into. Very... Uh, a lot of paste. A, a lot of... Yeah, bear in paste. mind the sniper rifle's DA. Yeah, I so. know. <laughs> I'm not going to roll the other last Yeah, that, that, that's just a huge amount. So, there we are. Okay. So that's it for your impetuous, isn't it? So we're on to the normal ones now. Uh, yes. Uh, right. From the first order pool. I'm issuing a move order as my first short order. 
on the camera token here. Okay. We'll be moving four inches then. Can anyone see? No? No. Okay. Second part of the order then is to move. In case you're wondering why we're well, he's just measuring that we've already declared the intent before we picked up the camera. Yeah. So, so we mostly got, got a bit the, carried the, away. Mostly due to the cat uh, jumping all over the place. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for that one. And your second order is a move order on this camera marker. Yeah. And he's going to move across here. Okay. Um, you, you'll get arrows to him. I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to. I, I, I am going to spot you. Okay. I'll move to that. So I got three spotting rolls. Okay. So, what's your second part? Second part's to move. Okay, my spotting rolls. I spot you. Yep, yeah, you spotted me. Okay, that's fine. I I'm... critically spotted you, I think. But I've moved. But I've definitely spotted you. And I'm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What was that marker again? Uh, that marker is a Farzan uh, with a boarding shotgun. Okay. It's me thinking it was a specialist. I'm quite lucky there. Okay, what's your next order? Uh, I'm going to issue a move order okay. on the impersonation marker here. Right. To move up. Um, I'm not sure if you get arrows from anyone. Uh, no, because no. the building's infinitely high, so I can't see it. Okay, so the um, unknown marker is going to move up. Just because. And just, just to make sure. No, look. Yeah, it blocks it. My line's going to go across there, so yeah. you're within that. Okay, yeah. okay, your next order. But my next order is to use one of my command points yeah. to uh, designate a coordinated uh, move. Coordinated order. Coordinated order, sorry. Uh, I'm designating the one here in the middle. Bubbles, get off the board. As the spearhead. No, seriously, Bubbles, get off the board. Sorry about that, I had to get rid of the cat. So, you're saying? Um, the, I've designated the middle one here as the okay. spearhead, and they're going to move towards the, the building. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I can see them with the three members of this link team here yep. as they move up. So my arrow is going to be shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what's the second part of your order? Uh, the second part of the order is to move. Okay. So I'm shooting through the trees. I don't get the minus three, but I do get the minus one to my burst. So that's... Um, hang on a second. That's Put plus three. Sorry. So the sniper rifle is plus three for range. Yep. Plus three for link team. Yep. No minuses. So that's a crit. Yeah. So when she's dead. Yep. I'm assuming you hit the, the middle one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do I? Um... Well, both of those would have gone for the link leader yeah. one, and the, the the and he could only see the end one, so his shot hit as hit. well. So I'm gonna make an armor save on her, do I? Yeah. Okay. Armor save on her. Sorry, you didn't see that. He hit with a four. And I rolled a thirteen. She's armor one. No. That's fine. No, I think. Sorry. So yeah, the, she was armor one, so it's fine. So they still get the second. They still get the, move, se so the second part of the move. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Nice aerial view. Thank you for that. Okay. Okay. So at the end of the order, you have to make a guts roll for the one that was hit. Okay. She rolled a nine. Oh, that's fine. You got like low power fourteen, haven't you? Yeah, well, thirteen on this. Thirteen, wow. you are. That's wow. Low. Right. Okay, your next oh, order. And my next order is to hack the door. This counter here. So Ooh. it's what your Barred? My, my Hawa. Your Al Hawa. My Al Hawa hacker. Uh, I got no arrows to it, so. Nope. Feel free and roll your dice. Okay. Oh, the uh, the second part of my order is to idle. Yeah. As... That's a fail. That's a fail. Well yeah. done. So it's your next order. Uh, to do it again. To do it again. Yes. Okay. So again, willpower roll. Um, I can't arrow you. That's a pass. Okay. So that door there is nearest to you is open. Yes. Okay. Okay, what's your next action? My um, next action is a move action on the Janissary here. Yeah. Who is going to... Don't measure. Sorry. Gee. Sorry. Get. It's, it's doing it so many times. Um, he's going to move across here. Okay. I uh, don't know if you get any arrows. Do you from the team here? Um, have a quick check. I don't think so, Most but I'll point get an point. arrow as he runs past the gap. Bubbles. Yeah, so he is to that. So it's a move, and then your second part was move, yeah? My second part is move, yes. Okay, so I get an arrow of the Drago, but it's going through the a zone, um, a zone of suppression-y thing. 
so it loses one burst, but it can't. But it's can't, an yeah. extra minus three. So plus three, minus three. Flat ballistic skill of fifteen. That's a hit. Five. So two armor saves. Mid. And mid. Well done, Janissary. Thank you. Your next order. My next order is to so move order to the Hawa. Yeah. He's going to move in. Okay, I can't see it, so okay. there's no arrows. So he's moving in. And your second part? Second part is to move up to the chest. Okay. To the chest. They should be in the corners, so. Yeah, yeah. So I thought that's why I moved it back. <laughs> but it's been knocked by the cat and yeah. stuff. So. Okay, um, my next order then is. Your next order? Is uh, going to be to open the chest. Okay. So you need two rolls on the booty table. So the rolls on the booty table are. An 8 and a 17. An 8 and a 17, so that's an adhesive launcher or a monofilament close combat weapon. I'll take the adhesive launcher. So then the coop is. It's going to be a move order. Okay. From the barrier who's going to run across where the Janissary ran. Okay, um, if you run across the gap, I'll arrow you when, when I can see you. Yeah, and the second part we of the order is to move. So, you can now measure and move. Yeah, I'm going to get you in the same place when you run across yeah. there, but it's through the thing. So I'm at minus three, plus three. So it's flat ballistic skill of yep. 15. It's a, it's hit. a four. Ooh. Definitely a hit and dear. Bye so bye, Barrett. Two armor saves. Oh, bye bye, Barrett. That's cocked, cocked I yeah. would say. Okay, roll. Sorry. Let's roll something flat. There we go. That's dead. And very, very dead. dead. Double five. Next order. Um, next order is to use one of the irregular orders on. Uh, one of the uh, Dale Army stand-ins here, while the cat was mental. Um, you go down, I'll give you a treat. It's not working anymore. She no. likes the game too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's going to move in here. Again, no arrows, because yeah. all the doors are closed apart from that one. That's that one. And the last order, then, for my turn, is yet another irregular order. And uh, it's on the Dale Army, who's going to move in. Okay, and again, no arrows, cause. Cause. So she's just going to move in. Okay. Bubbles, eat them for me. Okay, um, that's the end of my turn. Okay, we'll Stay. clear up and start my turn. Okay, what's your first order? My first order is making the sniper the link leader. Okay. Using one order, and he's going to... Um, he's going to declare... Idle with this first one. What's your reaction with the Nafton? Um, the Nafton over here. Yeah. Uh, the Nafton is going to declare a dodge. Oh, so you, you you've guessed that the next order is going to be shoot you with my sniper rifle. With, yes, that would. Be okay, one. so let let's roll off then. Okay, okay so I've got three shots because I plus one burst for the link yeah. team, plus three ballistic skill for range, plus three for the link team, minus three for you being in cover, minus one burst for the zone of trees. So I've got two shots needing 15s, and you've got your flat dodge. Oh, flat dodge of 11. Um, I hit you in a 5. Oh, I failed. And I've hit you in a 5, <laughs> so you've got two arms saves. Two arms because it's deer. Yeah. Dead. Ah, uh, dead. Very dead. So that's removed the arrow. That's removed so, the nafton. I don't think what to do next. Right. Okay. So my next order, I'm going to use a command point, and I'm going to use a coordinated order on my two... Specialists here to move out. Okay. Um, so they're moving up to here. Yeah, there's no one's going to get any arrows to them from there. And their second part of their order is move again. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that's there. Uh, my next order. Yep. One is. My next order, I'm going to move this one up to the door. Yeah. Right so. Okay. I'm within eight of you, so you get an arrow. All right. Yeah, the arrow is going to be a turn to face, which is a physique roll. Yes? Physique minus three. Physique minus three, so... And my second action is going to be open the door, which is roll power, and they pass. Okay. And my physique is a 12, which is a fail. Okay, so the door, all the doors are open now. Okay. Okay, my next order is going to be to move my guard of the assault door up here. There's nobody actually to arrow him, so the second part's to move up here. Okay, so... Okay, my next order is going to be on the Dragos, mm -hmm. who's going to declare a move. Okay. And he's going to move up this way. Okay. So, you've got an arrow with your sniper rifle, what's um, it to be? She'll shoot, because... Okay, you're going to get me in the open. Okay. 
Um, also, this person, can she see through the door when you move? I'm not sure. Yeah, she probably can. Yeah. Remember, it's a small door. Yeah, so it's a tight, that's, that's why Yeah, I you'd be able to. Yeah, I ain't got a line. Because the doors are meant to be the yeah. si this size here. Got a clear line of sight, so. Yeah, well, those are your two arrows. Are they both shooting, are they? Um, yes, I think so. Okay, so second part of my action, I'm taking a arrow shot from there and an arrow shot from up there. Okay. So I'm splitting my burst one against the shotgun uh -huh. and four against the sniper, which goes down to three because I'm shooting through the, yep. the zone. And I'm at flat ballistic skill. Yeah. So I crit with a 15. Okay. I need to crit with the sniper or she's dead. But she's dead anyway. Okay. And uh, the shotgun. Um, 12. Misses you. And I hit you with a 10. Yeah. So arm um, safe. Uh, she's failed. Too. So, so do you have doctors? Uh, no. Okay, you may as well take them off take then. Them off. Okay, my next order is going to be to move this guy up to here. Yep. So the six inches takes him right up to there. Okay. So you're going to get an arrow. Yep. So from the other front, the Dilami. So what's it yep. going to be? Uh, she's going to. Shoot you with a light shotgun. Oh, okay, I'm going to shoot with a heavy flamethrower. Yep. I've rolled a four. So you've hit me. Yeah. Okay, so I have to make my armor save. Uh, blue dice. Which you make. Which I make. Yep. And I save my template. Okay, so. the template is easily in. So, there we are, put it there so you can all see that it's in. Mm -hmm. So the dial army was hit because it arrowed, but no, because it's affected by a template, you get a physique minus three flat roll to dodge out the way. How are you? Seven. That's dodges a, out of the way. He dodges out of the way. So the Dile Army is burnt to a crisp if she fails around. And I need to move him two inches you away. You can move him two inches. Move him two inches, is it? Or you don't have to if you don't want to. I'll try and get him to to get away from people. So. Okay, oh and an armor save on the. An armor save on the Dile Army. Of a 16. It's fine. Gosh. Okay. Okay, my next order is going to be on this dude. He's going to move. His intention is to move up here. Um, so he's got line of sight, so he's going to yep. move four inches, which is one, two, to there. Okay. And the Hawa is going to get an arrow. Okay. And so with, well, no, she's... She's to see him, so what are your arrows? The uh, Hawa. The Hawa, shoot, and the Dilami, shoot. Okay, um, I'm going for my shots then. I'm going for my motor rifle shots into... I'm splitting the burst two into the Hawa and one into the Dail Army, okay? Okay, so... I'm two shots into the Hawa, one into the Dail Army. I'm at plus three to both of them, so I need 18s. Okay. You're at flat ballistic skill. Yep. And Muggins here is going to put a... Zero V no, he's gonna put a shotgun shot into your dude into your dudette as well. Yep. Okay, so that'll be flat ballistic skill for him. So we'll do the face to face first. Yeah. So your Hawa. Yeah. I I hit with a two, so I got hit by you. Made my armor serve. Yeah. And the Dial Army. I hit you with a 14, so sure. you got a armor save. A 14, 15 with... Uh, That's fine, because it's only 13. Okay. And the shotgun into your thing missed. I think, because I think the ballistic skill is 11 on an orc spot off the top of my head. Oh, it's 10, so hey ho. Okay, my next order is going to be to stay where I to idle. So you've got an arrow with your Hawa and yeah. an art and your Jambaza, uh, whatever it's called, the <laughs> Dail Army. Okay, the Hawa first. So what is your arrow? Oh, that's shoot, sorry. The arrow's to shoot. Okay, two at the, same as last time, same split as last time, two at the Hawa. Yeah. Which I've missed twice. I missed with the Hawa. Uh, no, I tell a live crit with an 18 because I'm at plus three, aren't I? Okay. Sorry. That's right, it happens. No offense, I think I crit last time with my, with my 18 as well. Uh, yeah, you do rolled 18 and 20. <laughs> but never mind. Hey ho. Um, serves me right for not paying attention. That's why he didn't yeah. take the shot. He's already dead. Yeah. 
And your uh, one shot, 17 I hit with. Um, flat, isn't it, for me? Yeah. Eight? No. So 17 beats you. So you've got an offensive. She's dead. Yeah. Good as shock. Okay, my next order is going to be to move this guy into here. Like so. Yep. And idle. Mm hmm. And my last order is to move this dude into here. Yep. And try to op and open the box. Uh huh. And on the booty table, I've got a 13 and, and a 10. 10. Okay, so I got a light flamethrower from the booty roll. Yep. Or a EM plus combo weapon. So I think I'm going to go for the light flamethrower personally. Yes. So that's the end of my turn. I'm not using my lieutenant order. So I'm going to keep you guessing who that could be. Yep. Um, there is actually two or three models it could be. So. You know, it, it's up for grabs. They're all in the link team though, so none of them are going to use it. So on to your turn. Right, um, firstly I'm going to use a command point to um, move the remaining regular order into, from one co uh, co uh, combat pool into the other. And then we'll uh, make our next move. Okay, you haven't got any, you haven't got any impetuous anymore. Cause <laughs> no, the, you kill them all. <laughs> the, the, bike, the, the bike has exploded in... In some righteous fury. Yeah, we'll say righteous fury. <laughs> okay. Um, my Your first, first order is a move order on the impersonation marker here. <laughs> then. No, of course not. It's a, it's a civilian. It's a civilian. And uh, yeah, sh he's going to move into the building kind of around. So I'm going to have to use a tape measure. Yeah, okay. To there. Okay, what's your arrow? Um, I'm going to hold my arrow with everybody. Okay. Uh, second part of the order then is to move. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's that order. Next order. The next order is to shoot you in the face with a boarding shotgun. Okay. With a fide. Oh, what a surprise. I never expected the fide to be there. Right. I'm going to obviously arrow with so she's all of them. Oh, yes, of course. That's going to sh um, shotgun, light flamethrower, mm -hmm. and he'll have to not do anything because he can't shoot because... Yep. Man's in the way. Yep. Okay, so you need 15s with your two boarding shotguns. Um, mine just flame around you with that, so it yep. doesn't matter. And that one needs seven. So my roll and a pause hit you with a one. Uh, ten and an eight. Okay, and it's a boarding shotgun, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Twenty and an eleven. The eleven fails. I'm dead. The shotgun blast is going to go that way, so it'll get him. Mm -hmm. Who can't dodge because... His alt spot declared a shot, so it's going to take it. It's going to take a hit and take a wound. Okay. And you've got a flamer to your face. Yeah, which is my armor is one on a fide. So you have to beat. Uh, you have to roll thirteen. I roll twelve. <laughs> so you you're on fire. Do you yeah. die? Um. Well, she's I tried dead. to roll on camera. Sorry. Huh? Yeah. Dead. She's dead. Yeah. Okay. So what's your next order? Uh, my next order is a move order. On the Junus tree here, he's going to peek out here. So you can see through the door to the guard of the assaulto. Okay, so you're moving to the edge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to arrow with these dudes over here. I'm going to arrow fire with a sniper, the heavy yep. machine gun, and Stephen Rao. Because of the way the model is, I can't actually put it the yeah, way. Yeah, I yeah, want yeah, it. yeah. So it's bloody dynamic post model. <laughs> yeah. And the guard of the assaulto is going to declare a dodge. Well, I'm firing at him. So. Okay, I've been checking. Um, Stephen Rowe there yeah, can't arrow because those barrels are in the way, but the other two are in. So, um, it's minus one burst, so they lose their special two run bursts. So, it's, the sniper is, you're in cover, so plus three, minus three, plus three for the link team, so 15s. I hit you with a nine with a D around. Okay. The heavy machine gun hit you with a 14. So you've got two hits from them, and you're shooting against him. My dodge failed. Okay. So you just got your shot. 
Okay, so you're at plus three with your heavy machine gun and yep. four shots. Plus three. Okay. This ballistic's got a 13, isn't it? Uh, this has got a genistry. It's 13. It is. I think. You need 13. So you need 16s. Four so, hits. Yeah. Oh dear. It's not looking good. Made it, made it, failed and failed. Okay. So he's dead. And with you, it was a D8 shot, just two. So a D8 shot from the sniper. Yeah. And a normal shot from the machine gun. So they're all going to be 15, so. Plus cover, but the two, the eight and the six probably failed. Yeah. Because your armor's what, four? Uh, three and a genistry. So no, four. Sorry, you're right. Sorry, four. Seven. Yeah, you failed. Yeah. You needed nines. Yeah. So you're taking two wounds. Taking two wounds. Okay, so go. what is your next order? I'm going to use the Rajix order here to bring him on. If you the bubbles, he's bringing on a Rajik. Where's it coming on? Uh, it's coming on here. Ballsy move. Ballsy. Right here. <laughs> Let's see. Proper if it, ballsy. Let's see if it pans out. I'm going to declare it. No, wait, I can't. Okay, roll for your physique. Be a one. You've landed. That'll do. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. <laughs> oh. What's your um, next order? I'm going to, I think, advance. Or no, put two shots into, yeah, put two shots into the Drago. Okay, um, I can't do anything about that. Okay. So I assume you're for an AP. Okay, so two shots at flat ballistic scale, because it's outside eight, I think. Uh -huh. Check that. Yes, yeah, outside eight. And the ballistic scale on is a... Il Eleven. I believe, yes. Okay. Ooh, two. You hit? Yep. I failed my armor save. Seriously? Well, I rolled an eight. What is, it's 14, 12. isn't it? Oh, no, I passed it, duh. I'm yeah. a tag. It's Sorry, I'm just so used to things having, like, armor six. So, <laughs> I passed my armour, so I'm now going to do that. Yep. Try that again, mofo. Okay, your next order? To advance. What? Where, where are you advancing to? Advancing up towards the thing that's turning to kill it. What, straight, or are you, trying, are you intending to go into cover? Well, I intend to go, well, yeah, up in, into cover, so he's, okay. he's in cover, but within eight. Yeah. Okay. You are within eight. I'm shooting you back. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you flamethrower you because yeah. Um, be so stupid enough to plus six of that range, yes. Uh, yeah. So it's eighteens. Mhm. Mm because they be a twelve. Seven Two hits. Three. Last. Twenty and fifteen. So my oh. I give not a damn, and you take a heavy flamethrower here, and I'm dead. And you're dead. Oh. Well, you're burning. To a crisp. No, uh, not, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, you just burnt. You just, you just lightly broiled, but no. you're down and done over medic. So and I'm taking him off because his wings keep breaking. Okay, your next order. Uh, my next order is to uh, issue a move to the genistry here. Yeah. He's going to run through the door. He's going to move into the door. Into the door here. Okay, so four inches. Four inches. When you move in, I'll be able to see you with the Dragos. Oh, yeah, you will. So I'm so going to shoot you with the Dragos. Yeah. Okay. And, the and what's the second part for your order? The second part of that order is a move order. Move up. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be firing deer. Uh -huh. And flat ballistic skill? Yep. Uh, you got to make one armor save. I failed. You're dead then, can you get two wins? Uh, that is the end of the game, because what? I'm now in retreat. Well, I get my turn done. Yes, I, so. you do, but I'm in retreat. But it's so. irrelevant anyway, because you've got nobody to stop me, and I'm no. already winning on by victory points, so we may as well just call it. So. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Right, so stay tuned, one. and we'll talk through what we think we did right, right or wrong. So, a nice summary of what um, I think of the battle, and then I can hand it over to my opponent for his appraisal. Mm -hmm. Um, when I put the link team there at the start, I was like, oh, that's a bit of a crap place. It's not going to do much. As you can see, the main layer deployed with a mine because he was paranoid about the fee day. But they ended up covering that approach there, which probably significantly contributed to winning the game because it shut down this exit, this entry, 
and my opponent had a lot of men there, so when they came round, they got shots. And it took out his only covering that was about here, so I could move up without getting shot. So it allowed me to deploy my move my link team all the way up. The guard of Assaulter did reasonably well, but mm. ate a bucket of shotgun fire and General Nasty in there and died. So that was to be expected um, from the Fide and the Genistry, the Genistry which ended him. The Dragos did, well, it's a beast. It shot the sniper and it <laughs> moved up. That's and an excellent tag. Managed to stand shooting through the door and probably made sure that my opponent couldn't couldn't come back from from the, the losses he'd suffered. Um, a few close calls. I think uh, the Radjik was pretty cool. Yeah, the Radjik landing was pretty cool. Um, I possibly would have taken a shot at my specialist first. Just because yeah. it was an easy kill. Um, but that's about it for what, what happened there. Um, if you hadn't been put into retreat, I would... One more surviving guy in there. If that Genistry hadn't died by a cr that crit there, it would have been a different kettle of fish because all I had really left to put pressure on was that... was that, few, that uh, medic there and the medic here... And I could have moved my link team up, I suppose. But that would have been a few orders and there's no specialists. So it would have certainly put a little bit of pressure on me on the next turn. But after the losses you took due to some yeah. lucky arrows, it wasn't looking good for you. Um, I think you were lacking anything heavy to go in here to hold yeah. it. Because what I, from what my view shooting at you, everybody in there died quite quickly to light weapons. So... Mm. If maybe a few Janissaries or some Asawiras or something yeah, had gone so in, would have been good. you know, or some more, well, you can't have an Ordalisk link team because. No. But a few Ordalisks for the six cents would have been quite good as well. Yeah. So that's what I think, maybe. Um, bet there'll be other, some other comments saying what else people could have done. But I'm handing off my opponent now for his so view of the game. Team. Okay, the, uh, well, in the start of the game, we had the two Kumbikers over here and. One of them uh, tried putting smoke down here, and that was a mistake because then he got arrowed by the, the Drago and, and died. What he should have done is put smoke down over here to negate the face-to-face, -face, allowing the other Kumbaker to move up and put the smoke down in a more favourable position, perhaps here, yeah. blocking the Drago's line of sight completely. He should have sacrificed himself for the other Kum. Yes. Um, aside from that, I... I think uh, my opponent's appraisal of uh, my mistake was was correct. I should have had some more uh, heavy hitters um, getting up here sooner. Some more genistries would have been good. Um, perhaps even uh, the Asawira. Um, something else to do with the, the possibility of the tag, maybe, um, but... Yeah, you had no AP apart from the boarding shop. And, well, and the genistry. The left, my lieutenant with the AP rifle, that was it. Um... Yeah, but the ability to get up to the uh, the building wasn't the problem. The, the problem I had is the ability to hold it effectively. So I think in the next game, time we play this, I think I need to put in uh, something that can help me do that. Um, any comments uh, to, well, display anything you think we did wrong or to help us in our next game will be appreciated. Thank you.